boys and girls. Today I have with me here two helpers. I have Keegan and Finley. Can you guys say hi? Hi. Today we are here to teach you about Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 through 23. This passage that I'm going to read to you is a letter from Paul to Galatians in which he lists nine attributes or qualities of a Christian life. So, here we go. 22. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. So what we are talking about today is the nine fruits of the Spirit. I thought we could associate the nine fruits of the Spirit with actual fruit that you guys would eat from the store. So luckily we live right across from the fruit market. So Keegan and I ran to the store and picked up some fruit so that we could teach you about the fruits of the Spirit. The first one we're gonna talk about is self-control. So, can you find the pineapple? Oh, that's a big pineapple. I thought that the pineapple could help us remember self-control because it has a thick skin and it takes a lot to practice self-control. The next one is patience. So I thought this fruit right here, do you guys know what this is? No. It's a pomegranate, a big red pomegranate. And pomegranates take a very long time to get to the fruit inside that you can eat. So this could represent patience because we have to have patience if we want to eat pomegranates. Yeah. Right? The next is gentleness. So a fruit that I thought could represent gentleness would be a this banana. right here, a banana. Because if we aren't gentle with it, it will get smushed or bruised and turn brown, right? And then it will just be need to use for banana bread because you can't eat it if it's all smushed and yucky. So that represents gentleness. The next fruit of the Spirit is faithfulness. So, I thought an apple could represent faithfulness because we can take this wherever we go. If you go on a hike, you can throw an apple in your bag. You can throw it in your school bag or your lunchbox, and it will always be there for you and look the same because faithfulness is what an apple can represent. The next is a big giant fruit. Which one do you think it is? Watermelon. The watermelon. I thought the next fruit of the spirit is joy. And I thought a watermelon represented joy because on a hot summer day, you might have watermelon to eat. And it says here that God calls us to have joyful hearts. He wants us to overflow with joy like a watermelon overflows with juice. Sometimes when we eat watermelon, juice just drips all down our face, right? Uh -huh. You guys want to eat some watermelon right now? Go ahead. All right. The next fruit of the Spirit is goodness. I thought an orange could represent goodness because inside this thing, it's full of vitamin C and that is so good for us, right? Mm -hmm. It is filled with goodness. The next fruit of the spirit is kindness. As I was walking through the store, I saw grapes and it made me think of kindness because there are so many in a bunch together that you could share with others. You could share your fruit just like you share the word of God. So grapes represent kindness. Okay, the next one, we only have two left. The next fruit of the spirit is love. And I chose, what are these, Finn? Strawberries. I chose strawberries because one, they're pretty and red. And two, 
It kind of looks like a heart when you hold it up. So I chose strawberries to represent love. Those look delicious, don't they? Mm -hmm. One more. The last fruit of the spirit is peace. I chose cherries to represent peace because I've been told that cherries can help you sleep. And sleep is the most peaceful thing that I can think of, especially at my house with all these boys. Mm -hmm. Cherries are also known to calm your nervous system and that can give you peace as well. So we have seen all the nine fruits that represent the different nine fruits of the spirit. And if you mix all these fruits together, what do you get? Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad, when you mix all these together, is what you get. And we should all try to be a fruit salad every single day by showing all of these nine fruits of the spirit and sharing them with others. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah. yeah. Did you learn about the nine fruits? Yeah. yeah. And now they're going to go eat all the nine fruits, right? Yeah. yeah. They're delicious. Maybe you guys could do this at home as a family as well and keep them on the table. And as you snack on them, you can talk about which one it represents. We will see you guys another time. Bye. Bye.